Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, I'm going to show you how to do a combo chart. This is a chart you will need at some point if you're an Excel user. So I have a list of car manufacturers in column A. In column B, I've got their total revenue. And in column C, I've got the number of units sold by manufacturer. In case you're wondering, I made up these numbers, but they're pretty accurate because according to Kelly Blue Book, for 2021 in the U.S., the average price of a car is actually a little over $40,000 now. So here we go. I'm going to click inside my data. If you want to make a chart, Alt F1 will put the chart on the current worksheet if you're a PC user. But, and if you're the Mac user, here is the Mac keyboard shortcut also on the screen. I'm going to go with the mouse though. Insert. Here's my chart group. If I hit recommended charts, just to show you this, it says recommended charts tab. The chart I need is not in here. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. This chart has the Ford, GM, Toyota, Kia, and Nissan at the bottom. And it's got the revenue running up the top. But it's also got sold. You just can't see it, but it's those orange columns that are in here. So what we need is we not, we not only need the one vertical axis that we have, this is called your primary vertical axis. I want to put a secondary vertical axis over here on the right. So let me show you how to do that. And you get this whenever you have numbers that are far apart. So I'm going to go to insert again, recommended charts. It was not in there. Here's all charts. But if you don't want to go that way, inside the charts group over here to the right, see all charts, same screen, same box, go to all. Down at the very bottom is a combo chart. I've got four different options. Down at the bottom it says revenue and then below it it says line, meaning a clustered column for the revenue and a line chart for the number of items sold. There's a box over here that says secondary access. You could actually come and check this one, but it's actually easier if you just come up here. It even tells you what it's going to do. A clustered column chart line on the secondary axis. Watch this. When I click it, watch right over here on the right. There you go. Click OK, and it checked that box, by the way. So now that we've got this chart right here, so I've got the primary axis on the left running vertically. I've got the secondary axis over on the right running vertically. And I've got the secondary axis as a line chart, which is what you want. One bonus tip. I know my legend is down here. I recommend you go and add chart design, add chart layout, axis title, Remember I said you had a primary vertical and I had a secondary vertical. Primary vertical, just start typing. This is going to be revenue. It just makes it easier to see. Add chart element axis secondary vertical. That was units sold. Revenue is over here. Units sold is over here on the right. That just helps with identifying your two axes that are running vertically. Let me know if you have any questions about this chart. This is a chart that I use all the time. Really easy to do. Click inside your data, insert, select all charts, all charts, combo, right there. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Let me know if you have any comments or questions about this video. Thank you.